Hello and <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's Christmas. It's getting on for halfway through December and uh, welcome to Friday Night Cocktails with the Deerings. And uh, we've got two spectacular Christmas cocktails. I'm going to do one this week and one next week. Um, uh, partly because, you know, that way we can drink right through to the big day itself. But also because one of them has ingredients you might need to kind of source over time so we'll make that today and then you can get uh, you know go on some kind of off license quest i don't know i don't know your life um to get this one and the other one takes preparation so we'll prep that one and do it next week see what i mean or shall i just whack my hands back and forth a couple more times so there's two different christmas cocktails and we start with the one we do next week and i'm not even going to tell you all about it i'm just going to tell you what to do and then next week we'll recap and then you'll see okay so what i'm going to do is take some lovely posh um raisins they're, they're jumbo ones and there's i think there's cherries in there so it's basically raisins and sultanas uh but nice ones jewel raisins cherries no candied peel, for goodness sake. You don't want it to taste like a Victorian mince pie. And she hates candied peel. <laughs> so uh, we're not going to do that. And obviously, if you hate dried fruit, don't do this. But yes, it's a really, it's genuinely a good thing. So in take a receptacle, you could do it in a tub. Nice to have something with a lid, because you're going to keep it. And it's basically sort of a drink. But we're going to use an old uh, jam jar, because we've got a bunch of them around and they're nice. And I'm going to put a load of these in there. And literally... About a second before we started um, filming, Julia pointed out that if I fill this thing up and then cover them with liquid, then they'll get bigger and it will just smash and we'll have ourselves a uh, yeah, delicious, festive, broken glass cocktail. So we're not going to do that. I also use this lovely bowl with a scoop, but I, then I just use my hand. So those are in there. And this, got um, cognac. Co cognac. Cognac. It's very similar to how my son um, pronounced the word conquer his first autumn. Conquer. It's quite harsh to remember that when he's coming up 16, but there we are. Quite nice one. Just a little bottle, half bottle essentially, of Remy Martin um, Fin Champagne uh, Cognac. You know, it's just fancy brandy. It's fancy brandy. But, and you can do this with any brandy, but it's supposed to be a treat. So yeah, I mean, I looked for one that was on offer. That we didn't break the bank and we can have a brandy afterwards. But you know, it's, it's Christmas. So do this, if you can, if you've got a couple of quid to throw it, do it and do it right. And then you can have a nice treat. Um, I'm covering that up with the uh, cognac, cognac, and I'm going to go right to the top and give it an inch. And then hopefully, if Archimedes is right, and that's not my nickname for you, by the way, I just mean <laughs> in terms of physics, um, <laughs> that they, they will drink up the, uh, the, the cognac and fill up the uh, jar, and then we'll have a fantastic um, sauce for the basis of next week's champagne cocktail. So um, that's going in the fridge in a minute and uh, those will go back in the packet <laughs> I threw away. So uh, we'll do that and uh, at some point, either to celebrate or if we get in trouble on a mountain, we can have this brandy. So that's uh, next week, that's next week's Christmas cocktail. Let's drink something right now. Now this cocktail we've been drinking every Christmas since 2017 um, because it's become totally traditional for us to have this when we do the Christmas tree and this is all for you this is real we put the Christmas tree up today and this is going to be our Christmas tree toast but full credit this is a Nigella Lawson cocktail she cooked it on a Christmas special in 2017 which was this nicely kind of wistful there was a kind of almost sadness is too strong but there was a real kind of quiet wistfulness to it which was you know quintessentially festive and kind of nice uh, in when this Christmas when things are you know more depressing than they were then um, uh, but you know lovely and a great cocktail and full credit I haven't changed it it's just straight up what she did so Nige if you're watching and you feel like I'm ripping you off let me know I'll take it down sorry about that love your work so um, got the nice glasses out because it's Christmas for goodness sake cocktail glasses there's three ingredients in this one and you and it's one part of each so it's incredibly straightforward you just got to have them so you're going to have some uh, Chambord, the uh, um, raspberry liqueur. Mmm, Chambord, merci. Um, even the hardest to come by, creme de cacao blanc, which is a, a transparent um, chocolate liqueur, essentially. Creme de cacao blanc. And uh, depressingly, as you can see, I say quite hard to come by. <laughs> it's really gone. Um, but that's also a good thing for reasons that we'll come to. So I'm going to crack the freezer. And at this point, this is quite a ritual, so I will share it with you. Because what I like to do is open the freezer 
get the, I forgot I'd been shopping today, so we're going to have to move the grapes. Um, <laughs> get the vodka out. Um, it's in the freezer, staying viscous. We've done this before. It's Stolichnaya, the classic basic vodka. As you can see, it's not frozen, but it's nice and thick and icy. And uh, I'll get some ice out so I can make this thing up. And just while I'm doing that, people who know how much energy costs are going, shut the freezer, shut the freezer, shut the freezer. I'm going to stick the glasses in just to chill them off and uh, make them chill down a little bit more. So, now we're going to put some ice in the shaker. I've got ice, I didn't get any ice with in the first place because we've got these great um, ice trays that actually work. Try and have a good ice tray because ice trays are such a pain. It's really important, uh, it's always important to shake a cocktail to get it as really iced right through, do it quick and hard until it's like ice crystals forming on the outside of the shaker. Um, but it's particularly important with this one because yes, the vodka was in the freezer, but let's face it, these have been in the cupboard for 10 to 12 months, so they are not in any way cold. So make sure they get the love that they need. Okay, as I said, it's one part of each, so it's incredibly straightforward. I'm gonna start with the vodka actually because of the cold thing. And we're having one each, so I'll do two of each, but it's completely in thirds. So we've got one, two of those. And we've got two of, uh, I can't open this, there we go, we're in the shambord. Two of these. See Frank Sinatra's giving it the side of the night. One. This is our Frank Sinatra Christmas album, and it's so good. It's pretty much the only one we listen to. I'll tell you, if he finishes, I'm going to go over there and start it again because that was gorgeous. So, creme de cacao blanc. Um, it's just, I suppose, is it chocolate? It's chocolatey cacao. I never know when people say use cacao, cacao nibs, whether that is the same thing as chocolate or some kind of chocolate based ingredient, but somewhere around there. Right now, this needs to get cold and uh, I need to shake it up properly. So, just wait there because I'm literally going to drop my lid off um, in a second. Stay there, right back. Actual vinyl you're listening to here. This is Frank Sinatra giving it the, the uh, gonna go now as so I just drop it wherever it lands. I just remembered how much I talk. I was hoping we'd get to that silent night, and we did, but I wanted to get to it when I've made the drinks. So, yeah, those are all in there, that's good. Slightly sticky, this cocktail, which isn't a problem, except for me, because I don't like sticky cocktails. <laughs> and probably after I've made these, I might have to just quickly wash my hands. But that's more a personality thing than a cocktail <laughs> thing. So as I say, super shake. It's got to get cold right through and fast enough that um, I don't get loads of water as the ice melts. That's why you get the shaker. You know, that's the shaker, not stir thing. Stirring, you get water in it. Shaking done right, fast enough, you get it really cold. That's, what is it, convection? It probably isn't, so I'm slightly ashamed about that. And now my hands are kind of freezing to it, so that is right. And uh, get those glasses back and uh, chuck it in there. The lush, special glasses. Oh, the special glasses and chilled in the freezer. Um, <laughs> shopping today. <laughs> and uh, there we go, that's the Christmas cocktail. Now I think, I can't remember what Nigella Lawson called it. She's called it Christmas Teeny, Christini. For us, it's the Christmas tree cocktail. Or for short, it's a Christmas tree. And I think that's a really nice name for it because it's, it's red, it's sweet, and it's just got that, it just catches exactly the mood. That's what it means in this house. It's the Christmas, and it is, I should say, before we drink it, it is one of those that comes with a lemon warning because it's really sweet. Not too sweet, it's chocolate and raspberry, right? It's like a really posh dark dessert, really nice, but sweet, which is good because Nigella lost some sweet stuff. And uh, she finishes it off, by the way, with a sprig of rosary, which is just so nice, because it's just really the smell of it and like getting it on your fingertips. And it's not too sticky, you don't have to wash it off. <laughs> and uh, you know, it does enhance the flavor, but very subtly, but they're so strong. Last year we made one, dressed the tree, and thought, oh, they're lovely, let's have another one. And they're still doing the tree, and we're like, oh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to Christmas if we survive. <laughs> so do take care, very strong, but absolutely fantastic. Here's to you. Here's to us, here's to Nigella, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, we'll get back to those uh, um, blooming uh, dried fruits next week, but let's toast these to the Christmas tree. Merry Christmas. Spill it.